So I have my bike, one fishing rod, a bag of fishing stuff and camera stuff. And I'm going to be fishing in a bunch of random ponds that I know of that are biking distance and see how many fish I can catch in a few hours. So I'm at the first uh, stop. I don't really think I'm going to catch anything here because this is probably the most pressured pond that I've ever fished in my life. Starting off the small drop shot bait. The time is 4.14. And there's another place up the road about 10 minutes biking that I'll probably go to very soon because I don't really think I'm going to catch anything here. If I'm gonna catch anything in this pond, it's gonna have to be in a drop shot. Is it a bite? I do think I am getting bites. Ah, oh, that was a fish. He's on it. All right. So many little fish in this pond that are not eating the whole bait. So what I'm gonna do is take off this one now get one of these zoom finesse worms I'm gonna rip off this really small little chunk like that I'm gonna see if I can catch a fish because they're not eating the other worm that I was using There's a fish. Finally got one. Oh wow, that's cool. Whoa, that's a really big perch. Whoa, look at that. Oh no, sorry, not too bad. Calm down. Look at this. Look at the size of that perch. That's pretty good. Wow. That's um that's amazing. It's a giant perch. It's not huge, but it's a big it's a good sized one. That's cool. There he goes. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep fishing because that was pretty cool. And I switched to this teeny little piece of the uh, zoom finesse worm right here. Really small little bit and I caught a fish. That's cool. There's another one. Cast right after that one. Small one. This is a bluegill? Oh, a little bass. A little bass. This little chunk of the zoom finesse worm again. Oh, this is a smallmouth bass. Wow. Really? Wait, is that a smallmouth? No. I think this is a largemouth bass, actually. Pretty little fish on the little zoom little chunk of the finesse worm. That was my cast right after the perch. I'll let him go. There's a fish. Small one. Another small bass on the drop shot again. I'm going to move to the next spot 
down the road about 10 minutes. Again, this spot, I really never catch any fish. Um, but now all of a sudden I'm catching a bunch of fish. I've been here for like 10 minutes, caught those three fish. So I'll probably come back here again, even though it's, even though there's no big fish in here, I don't think, but it's still fun to catch fish. So I'm going to move to the next spot and I'll get back to you when I'm there. Just to the, uh, tell you of, of how pressured this pond is. Every year they have a little fishing derby here and there's over a hundred people fishing at the same time at this really small pond. And weeks after that, there's tons of people trying to catch all the trout. So I'm at the second spot. It's a little bridge that I can fish on. Um, I actually fished her yesterday and I caught a, like a, a smaller pickerel and my friend caught a big one. So I'm gonna fish here for a little while and see if I can catch any fish. There's one. A little bass. There it is, a little bass on the drop shot. Small one. Look at that hook set. It's perfect. Small one. I'm using a kind of drop shot weight that goes through grass really well. And if you fish grass like the like you can see right down there, it's just tons of grass. And this kind of drop shot weight works really good. And I also have a longer leader than I usually fish because of the grass as well. So the bait rests right on top of the grass and the weight is down inside the grass. There's a fish. Another one. It's not that small, but it's, just, it's still pretty small. Oh, it's a pickerel. I don't like these things. Still, beautiful fish. You know, my husband um, caught one off our dock, and it was a state record. Really? Yes. No, How big? Oh gosh, this yeah. big. Yeah. But what happened was he waited a day before he brought it to somebody, so it lost some of the weight. Yeah. So it was, I think, the second biggest on record. That's cool. Where this bridge is, this is probably the best spot to fish in the lake, in my opinion, because it's like a a pretty like good current that's coming through here and I've actually fished tournament on this lake and right on the other side here we pulled up and we caught tons of bass well not tons but we caught some fish so this is probably my favorite spot of the lake and there's a lot of fish here I should find a way to launch my kayak here so in the summer I can pull into this cove straight ahead and catch a lot of fish in the frog and really anywhere around this whole area is just really good for lily pads so hopefully i can get out here in the kayak in the summer or even soon all right i have the zara spook a little puppy version the smaller kind and i'm gonna try to catch a fish on top water. So I saw a lot of fish jumping, so it makes me think that I may be able to catch a fish on top water. Oh, oh, 
Look. Eat it. Eat it. Whoa. Eat it. Oh, you got it. Oh, that was so cool. I saw the fish come up. Oh, he's gone. But I don't know if the camera picked that up, but the fish, I saw like the wave of water, like a little like indent in the water coming toward my lure. And he was falling behind it for like a few seconds and then he ate it. It was a little pickerel. First cast too. It's pretty cool. Came out of the grass. All right. Um, my very first cast of this, I was hooked onto a uh, small pickerel and it came off. And then I missed like 15 other like hits. So I'm gonna leave this on. And when I go to the next spot, I'll cast it a few times and try to catch the fish to the next spot. I hate these things. Okay, here we go. This is a, uh, a steep hill with a lot of roots in it. Well, that was nice. I have to throw a couple casts with this spook here. I'm gonna throw three, cast three times, and then I'm going actually across the street to a new new place. All right, one, two, and three. All right, let's go across the street and catch some bass. I don't think the spook is gonna work here, but I'll give it a go. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a giant on the spook. I'm, ooh, I, I think it's a, a smallmouth too. Oh wow, that's a big fish. I think it's a smallmouth. Oh yeah. Is it a smallmouth? Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. Don't shake. I Wow. That's awesome. Look at that smallmouth bass. Oh, that's amazing. That's a good that's a good size too. That's probably like a two pound smallmouth. That's amazing. I'm gonna get my scale out and weigh him. It's awesome. I caught my personal best smallmouth out of here as well. I also just caught this nice one. This is what my, the biggest fish I caught out of here, biggest smallmouth. Does this even work? That My scale isn't working, but I'm gonna say this is probably around two pounds. That's awesome. I'm gonna get them some water and then get a picture. All right, let's get the release on this beautiful fish. Go, oh, there he goes. Beautiful fish, it's awesome. That made my day. Well, my camera wasn't rolling and I just missed another huge blow up cast right after my last fish. The reason why I catch so many 
fish right here at this point because there's a rock wall that goes underneath the water all the way to where that dock is. And I, I can actually walk out like 20 yards or more like and, I'm, and the water is only at my knees. So there's tons of fish on the rocks right out here. Fishing it really fast and erratically because of uh, the wind. It's not that windy, but the water's like not that calm, so that's what I usually do. All right, they just—they're not—they're not, they're not uh, going after it anymore. There must have been only a couple of them, and they—and they already went after it once. They don't want to go after it again. I missed them like ten times. A couple really big blow-ups. I'm really happy I caught that one smallmouth though. That was amazing. All right, so I just got off the phone with my mom. I was planning on leaving now before it gets too dark and I get and I get hit by a car. So instead of that, I get to stay for about another hour. Um, and then my mom's gonna pick me up. All right, let's see what else I should use. Um, maybe a spinner bait. Maybe I can catch a big fish. Yeah, I was gonna try out a spinner bait for a few minutes. I don't really think I'm gonna catch anything on it because it's just really big. But I'll try it out and see if I can catch any fish. This is a war eagle spinner bait. It's like a chartreuse, white and blue color. It's good for clear water. That fish. No. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a good one too. On the spinner. Ooh, I think it's. I think it's. It's no. Oh, it came off. That was another smallmouth too, and it was probably bigger than the last one. Ah. Uh. Man, that was probably closer to three pounds. <sighs> that was on the spinner bit, I missed it. I got a cast back in there, it could be another one. Over the rocks again. I caught my personal best my mouth right here where I'm standing, straight out in the rocks too. And that was like three pounds, 11 ounces right here in this lake. So, Hopefully, I can catch another one like that, which probably isn't gonna happen. All right, I'm going to walk down this bank to about where that light is and then come back and fish along the way. And then I have probably another half an hour to fish. Oh, there's a fish. Good one too. I wasn't even paying attention. I was in really shallow water. Where is it? Please be a giant smallmouth. That would be amazing. Oh, there it is. Uh, looks like a large mouth to me. Come on. Got it. Yep, large mouth. There's one. Nice. Nice large mouth on the spinner bait. Hooked him right in the eye with the trailer hook. He must have swiped at it. That's why I use the trailer hooks. Nice, probably one and a half, two pounder on the spinner bait. Sorry if it's too dark for you to see the fish that well, but I'm gonna be night fishing for a little bit and then I need to go home. All right, I'm going to end it now. And I will show any other fish that I do catch. Um, I'm ending it because it's probably too dark for you to see anything, but you might be able to see something. And my GoPro is about to die. So I caught a lot of fish. This is probably like a 15 minute video or something. I fished at three different spots, I think. Yeah, three. 
caught probably like 15 or so fish. I don't even know. Some of them may not even be in the video because I caught a lot of small ones. And that's about it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment about a video that you want to see. Bye.